It's that time of the year again when the gates of the Bochi State Government House are flung open for the entire Christian community to come in. They showed up in their numbers for the traditional Christmas homage, COVID-19 notwithstanding. They are truly thankful as they acknowledge God's abundant grace through praise songs. Before the governor joined the crowd, he meets with the Christian leadership privately and the Khan chairman delivers their message. You have shown love to us, you have given us a sense of belonging and we, as a, an institution, we cannot do without praying for you. I'd like to assure your excellency that the church in Bauchi is praying for you fervently. Governor Muhammad is particularly grateful to the Christians for their role in sustaining relative peace in the state. It was a few weeks ago, a pastor was killed with a view to really creating a lot of rancor and, uh, uh, and chaos. But the Christian community exercised restraint and allowed it to be investigated. They did it because they have faith in me and in our government. I want to thank you most sincerely for that respect. And I'm assuring those behind all this dustly act will be apprehended, because some have already been apprehended. I want to caution our politicians not to use religion as a means of achieving their aims. Moments later, the governor along with his wife, the Speaker of the State House of Assembly and others joined the crowd outside. He assured them that he will never fail in fulfilling his obligation towards them. The best part of the visit for women is the presentation of Christmas gifts by the wife of the governor. Though this is the first time of me coming here and this is the first time of me receiving the gifts, I thank the governor. I'm very happy and excited. Visits like this bring governance close to the governed, strengthens religious ties and also offers an opportunity to reflect on challenges among other benefits. Hajira Ali, Channels Television News.